So we have breaking news here on TYT Sport. Well, kind of. Andre Ward is fighting Kelly Pavlik. You know, we are doing an initial reaction here. I'll give you my initial reaction. At first, it was, why the fuck is Kelly Pavlik fighting Andre Ward? Uh, many may share my same thoughts. Robert, what were yours when you first heard about this? My sentiments are pretty much exactly the same as yours. I don't know that I would have used the same choice of words, but I feel much as you do. Uh, I don't understand why Andre Ward has elected to fight Kelly Pavlik. Uh, Andre Ward, as you know, um, pound for pound, one of the greatest fighters alive. Kelly Pavlik, as you know, has been on the slide for five years. Um, he is a name, uh, hence a marketing tool, but he's not going to provide much competition to Andre Ward. Andre Ward undefeated 26 and 0, 14 knockouts to his name. He has a long track record of fighting solid opponents, whether it's Edison Miranda, he beat up on Carl Froch in the Super 6 final when he won the Super 6. He demolished Carl Froch. He beat up on Mikael Kessler. Uh, he recently fought Chad Dawson at the Oracle in his hometown of Oakland, demolished him in 10 rounds. Will this fight even be competitive? I know that we're looking at it from, you know, it's two months away. It's January 26 at the Galen Center on the campus of USC, University of Spoiled Children. Um, will this fight even be competitive, would you say, Robert, or is it just going to be another demolition job by Andre Ward? I'm not expecting it to be competitive, uh, even though um, even though Kelly Pavlik is rated by all the sanctioning bodies in the top ten. I mean, he is a recognized fighter. He is a recognized name. But I don't know what it is that he could possibly uh, muster to really give Andre Ward much of a fight. He's really going up against the best, and Pavlik is not the best. He was sometimes mistaken for the best in years past, but nobody mistakes him for the best anymore. He was the middleweight champion from 2007 to 2010. He had that amazing fight against Jermaine Taylor when he was knocked down in the early rounds, came back and knocked out Jermaine Taylor. He lost to Sergio Martinez, and then he you could say took a year off. However, he suffered from alcoholism. He had a DUI. And then, he did, again, he didn't fight for a year. He fought three times, however, in 2012. So let me ask you this. You know, he had the contract dispute with top rank. He's now fighting, going to fight Andre Ward. Let me ask you this. Is, was he the last opponent available for Andre Ward at 168 pounds? I'm not sure that is the case. Um, he certainly Ward has certainly cleaned out the division, but for him to need to sort of dip down uh, into the division again to defend his title really seems a pity. Uh, he just had a fight at light heavy. Uh, why not pursue some action at light heavy? There's a lot of fights up there. But again, uh, boxing is not just a sport. It is like all sports. It is also a product, and it needs to be sold. It needs to be marketed. And if it's going to be sold and marketed, uh, one needs a name in order to sell and market the product. And that name, in this instance, is Kelly Pavlik. This will be Andre Ward's sixth title defense. Robert Exel, the editor-in-chief of Boxing.com. You can follow him on Twitter at Boxing underscore com and follow his great writing at www.boxing.com. And also, please do us a favor. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below and also subscribe to TYT Sports. Robert Exel, thank you so much for the time, and we'll talk to you again soon. Great, Rick.